All right, y'all. Hey, y'all doing today? This is a video of my new wind turbines. My HY Wind Max, 1,000 watt, 24 volt. There's my HY 400 uh, Wind Max, 24 volt, five bladers. Both of them are five bladers, and they're doing pretty good today. Got some real good winds. Early this morning, uh, about 10 o'clock, got some. 21 mile, 21 mile hour gust, but still hadn't seen real, any real good wind since I got the wind turbines, and I'm still waiting for this one to get broke in. And yeah, that's just my opinion. I believe when they get broke in, they will do a whole lot better. But that's my opinion. And I guess five sitting a cup of coffee will get get you that far. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Get this camera to work. But yeah, there's me. Hey, clean shaven. But uh, yeah, I know I need to cover it ugly up and get myself uh, get myself grow my beard back. But, all right. Well, here we go. I'm gonna show you some more stuff. All right. But anyway, there she is. The HY 1000. One kilowatt, 24 volt. Oh, she is kicking. Not really, but <laughs> I wish it is. But she's starting to pick up a little bit. There my, there's my anemometer, my Davis Vantage View. Love that thing. And that, HY, that little HY 24, 24 volt just turns and turns and turns. But, all right, let's go see how I got this thing uh, installed here. Lock the shop. Oh, I was holding that. I don't have all the don't know all these fancy things about uh, uh, pause on the video and this and that, but I'm getting there. All right, all right here we go. And this is one I got for, sold on eBay. Good old boy up in Maryland. Got that box up, ready to ship out. But here's how I got some stuff set up right here. Um, this is my rectifier for my number two. Wind max, one kilowatt, 24 volt. And down, and here's my brakes. My number two brake, wind max from one kilowatt, 24 volt. And that's my brake switch. And these are actually Air X by Southwest Wind Power uh, brakes. And excuse me, there. that's just something I got there. I moved out of the way. Sorry about that, y'all. And there's my other brake switch from a number one 400 watt uh, 24 volt Wind Max stop switch, brake switch. And here inside here, that's my number. Um, two, as you got number labeled number two. Let me see here. I got labels on them all my cables and everything. That is a my number two positive. Okay, and it's my number one positive. And there's my diode for my number one my number one wind turbine. And there's my diode for my number two wind turbine. And here's my rectifier. A lot of people say, well, why you got a diode and with uh, your rectifiers? Well, it's just something I added, and I just thought to be safe, I want power coming in, not coming from a battery bank to my uh, charge, to my uh, wind turbines. But anyway, that goes to my combiner box. I'll show you all back out here. All that goes through my wall right here. Through my wall. To my combiner box. I don't know if you'll see on my previous videos, but we'll just do it again. Yeah, they're cranking. Oh yeah. Okay. That's the one kilowatt Wind Max, and that is the 24 volt of 400 watt. And that's the. Wind Max turning away, and it's 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 tracks tracks real good. I don't 
I don't know, I might have to add a tail on that one. I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but still chewing on it. Right here, this goes into my combiner box. Right here. If you look on my previous videos, it goes into my combiner box. Yes, I got that from um, Jeff at Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, great company, I mean, if you need if you need good hardware, supplies, or any, anything, they've they got good stuff. I'm not going to bash another man's product. It's all good. They're all out here for the same reason, to make renewable energy. And yes, uh, I'm disabled, so I can't go to the hardware store like everybody else can, and I can't drive, so I, I buy stuff from people that will help me out, and you know. So anyway, I uh, can't get out, and it kind of stinks, but oh well, we won't get in that, to that, because my pack attack problem can't drive, get those pack attack seizures. Anyway, here's my, this is where my AC comes in from my rectifiers, and they go in that combiner box right there, and they come, I got it on the ground, and it comes up up to here, and that comes inside the shop, and that's, I got everything grounded, wind turbines, uh, solar panels, battery banks, you name it, all right. Now we just got a big old gust of wind about a well, big old gust about a maybe a ten mile an hour wind. But nothing compared to all the mother guys on YouTube with the wind turbines and all that good stuff. Uh, we got about a half inch rain this morning. But oh man, we need some lights in here, y'all. Sorry about that. Turn some lights on. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, we're getting there's the winds. The wet, wet, blah, blah, blah. Stutter too much. Sorry. Uh, wind speed, 20, max wind speed 21 mile an hour today. That was 10 11 a.m. this morning. That's where I got that big gust. And then right now it's 7. Uh, I'll turn some more lights on here. And let me see here. Another little fluorescent light. That's my. But that's. A, we got about 5 and a 4. It's a teasing wind. Especially for these old wind maxes. It's all good. I'll get I'll get out here one day when I can catch some good wind, but but this is what we're producing right now. Uh, text message. Somebody's thinking about me anyway, huh? No. <laughs> That's solar. That's the separate from the wind, but they're going into the same battery bank. Nine hundred ten watts. And there's a big old gust of twelve mile an hour wind. Drop down to seven. All right. Okay. Well, I'll catch it again. I got it on watch view, so that's the main main thing. I'm getting about a. Let's see here. Oh well. Anyway, this is what we're producing right now from my house. We're inverting 700 watts, and we're selling 700 watts, which is not really selling. I'm just slowing my meter down. And yes, I do have a battery backup bank. This is an off-grid, on-grid, capable system. And let's see here. This is what we produce right now. Just that little last gust of wind we just had. It's a 70, 75 watt. But see, then it dropped down to about uh, a four. So, I mean, that's not a good consistent wind. Not a good wind today for sailing, but that's my latest, latest data I, uh, I had since we've been talking. You know, saying about watts. This is making good, um, here's a readout, 8.31 watt hours. All right. Here's what we did today. That 21 mile an hour wind we had this morning. That's 700 watts. That's not too bad. 
Also, I'm going to show you about these Outbacks. See that temperature right there? That is that lead on top of there. These things get warm. So if you get one, they also make, they also make it as a great heater as far as inverting power. But I think any inverter gets warm when they run constantly. But, and that's with the uh, over 900 watts of solar and here and there a little bit of wind coming in. But anyway, hey, I just wanted to show you what's going on. And also I added uh, another addition uh, to the, uh, the wind family. I uh, got a 1,000 watt diversion load resistor here. I uh, got from Missouri Wind and Solar. Love it. Good, good unit. 1,000 watts because I got a 1,000 watt. Uh, think about it. I got a 1,000 watts worth of uh, wind. 1,000 uh, watt um, capable of 1,000 watts or even 1,200 watts at wind max 1,000 watt or 1 kilowatt. Uh, one kilowatt uh, wind turbine, and I got the HY 400, which is capable of five to six hundred watts. So I had another 24 volt, 600 watt uh, diversion load resistor or slash air heater. But yeah, there she is, and that's how I got it hooked up. And that's number 10 for six, you know, 600 watt, 24 volt. And it's coming out of my my um, Morningstar TS60. Coming out of there, coming out of my disconnect box, and goes right to here. So there she blows. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. This is KBSMC Viralocity over and out.